The Super Monkey was buffed in the most recent update to VTD Battles 2, more specifically the True Sun God upgrade on it. So we're going to be showcasing it in today's video to see how good it is now. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, in case you guys don't know what exactly was all changed regarding the Super Monkey with this new 1.8 update, then we can go over the changes together right now. First of all, the 300 Sun Avatar used to be $16,000 and now it is 15k. And finally, the 500 True Sun God used to be $500,000 and now it is $400,000, ladies and gentlemen. That is a $100,000 price reduction, which is just absolutely massive. If you put that into percentages, that is a 20% price reduction, which is just, again, absolutely absurd so i felt like it was just my duty and necessary to make a video on the true sun god because technically yes the pierce for example or the damage for the true sun god those were not directly changed at all but we have never seen such a massive change in pricing to any other upgrade ever thus far in battles 2. maybe ninja kiwi wanted to make it an actual possible viable option for like rank slash casual because as of right now it is so very difficult to get that upgrade in an actual ranked game. And by the way here, we're kind of struggling low key. So I'm going to go for another 0-1-2. I might have tower boost this and I really don't want to. Okay, let's tower boost that. Let's tower boost that. And I'm probably actually, you know what? We're not going to go for Benjamin here because we're probably going to have to go for Cryo. Yeah, so let's go for that. I'm also just not going to eco uh, with grouped greens just yet because we actually do not have the ability to pop white balloons. Wow, I have really really played this early game very very poorly so far okay so icicles is a $2,400 upgrade we can sell this ice right here for 700 okay so we're definitely not looking too shabby then so yeah let me finally sell this start equaling with green balloons here too as well the fact that we don't have benjamin down and it's round six is really really bad but i'm not gonna lie this strategy that i'm currently using take a look at it Benjamin, Super Monkey, Village, Ice. We're using Benjamin so that we can regen our lives in case we do get that Life Avenge or we can be on par with the Life Avenge. We have the Super Monkey, of course, because we're trying to showcase a true Sun God. And it is the best late game tower in Play With Fire specifically, which is the game mode that we're currently playing in. And then we have the Village Ice Tower combination, the best tower late game duo in all of Battles 2 because we have things such as the Homeland Defense upgrade with having the Village. And then also with having the ice, the best support tower, in my opinion, we can debuff all black class balloons. And we can also use Icicle and Pale for DDTs. And then Absolute Zero, it buffs all of our ices, so that's nice, but it's not that big of a deal. But this strategy really only works in Play With Fire because in Play With Fire, you get double the amount of money that you would normally get from sending Eco, aka you practically have infinite money. And by the way, I'm going to slow down this Eco in here a little bit. Just because one, it looks like we're low key struggling here a little bit. And two, we actually don't have any camera defenses. So I'm gonna remove this obstacle right here really quick. Let's go for that. Let's send space rainbows, maybe. I don't actually know. Can we even defend against those? I'm scared. Guys, I'm really, really scared right now. Uh, <laughs> Cause we only have one icicles, right? So I, it's just because I played the early game so incredibly poorly. So that is 100% on me. We actually don't, oh wait, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so we're down two tower boosts. That's the one kind of bummer thing. We don't currently have the ability to pop lead balloons either right now. Oh, yep, here come those leads. Oh, no. Okay, pop this down, pop this down. We're good, we're good, we're good. I can't have a single lead leak. Okay, we're good. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's just with this map. Because the last time that I put on this map, I played like an absolute bot. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now. So I guess the map, I don't freaking know. I'm probably just using that as an excuse. No, I definitely am using that as an excuse. Oh my god. Triple, triple icicles for the win. Oh my god. I can't afford a tower boost again. I need at least one tower boost for the later game rounds. Holy crap, guys. So we're going to go for the bottom path upgrade on this village right here so that we get even more money from setting all this eco. But as I was saying, we get double the amount of money from setting eco in this game. So we have just an absurd amount of money. I mean, currently right now, we have nearly 4,000 eco and it's round 16. So the fact that we have this much money coming in means that we can make a wacky strategy like this work out. Because in a normal rank slash casual game, you won't have enough money to even defend against simple things such as round five space whites. And by the way, I just now went for the monkey city kind of forgot about that 
We're going to continue on Equin until we have enough money to go for the Monkeyopolis. We'll go for the Monkeyopolis, and then we'll start Equin with possibly Purple Balloons, but we have to make sure at the same time that we can defend ourselves because whatever I send to my opponent in play with fire also gets sent back over on my side. So if I send him purples, we're going to have to make sure that we ourselves can also defend against those purple balloons. All right, Icicle Spam for the freaking win, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to sending constant purple eco. Maybe this many Icicles can defend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're absolutely shredding. So maybe I went a little bit overkill, but I, I just wanted to make sure that we would be fine. Oh, wait, we don't have any mob defenses right now. So I'm going to just quickly go for a Sen Avatar right here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have went for this definitely should not have because i'm gonna have to sell this it's all good and you know what look at our opponent's side right now it looks nice and clean so we're gonna do the same thing by clearing every single obstacle on this map and by the way in case you don't know each and every obstacle actually costs a different amount on banana depot okay so for example this one up here costs 350 but this one down here costs 500 but this one over here costs 350 and this one down here, 400. And then this one, 350. So it's really just all over the place. Very inconsistent. I don't really understand why, but yeah, that's a thing. So our true sun god spot will probably be right here because this is pretty much the middle of the map. Actually, though, I'm not sure if we freeze the water, if our true sun god will stay or not. It might go away because this ice right here technically would be sacrificed, right? Eh, screw it. We'll give it a shot. And by the way, in case you don't know too, eco one with purples and play with fire is the fastest and best way to increase your eco, okay? Although other balloon sends such as zebras and rainbows give you more eco per balloon send, you can't send them as quickly as you can purple balloons since purple balloons are the quickest and fastest balloons in all of battles too. So per second, you technically can send more sets of purples than you can any other balloon send. Therefore, per second, you increase your eco the fastest compared to any other balloon send. Hopefully that sort of kind of makes sense, but I see that comment a lot in my later game videos like this. And two, when we do go for the true sun god right here, we want to make sure that we have max sacrificing from each and every category. So the three categories that we have within our strategy are the magic category with having the super monkey, the support category with having the village, and then finally the primary category with having the ice. So in order to have $50,000 worth of sacrificing from the magic category, I'm going to go for the good old dark champion. That's an easy 50k right there. As for the ice, we can go for an icicle and pale right here, and then also an absolute zero, and that is well over $50,000 as well. We're gonna just sell off these uh, other icicles because we no longer need those. And then from the support category, all we have to go for is a good old homeland defense. And that is easily $50,000 worth of sacrificing from each and every category. Because again, I do want to have a max true sun god for today's video as well, especially in this game mode where we just have infinite money. And here's another question that I see a lot in my comment section whenever I use the super monkey specifically. Boltrace, why don't you go for a ventral true sun god? That's a fantastic question, little Timmy. The reason being is because in order to go for a ventral true sun god in BTP6, you need to have $50,000 worth of sacrificing, aka max sacrificing, from each and every single monkey category. But in Battles 2, you can only do that with three out of the four categories, since in Battles 2, you can only have three possible towers within your loadout. Therefore, it's impossible to truly, truly have max sacrificing. Therefore, the Vendral True Sun God is just not possible. But we do have well over enough money to go for at least the Sun Temple now. So we should probably just do that right here, right now. So let's get to doing that. Per freaking fit. We're actually going to sell this up here too. Okay, the Monkeyopolis, it might be within range. So you know what? Let's uh, replace it then up here. Actually, I lied. All the way down here. Let's sell you. Go for this. And then we also are going to need some camera detection for the time being. Because currently, yeah. This didn't have any camera detection. But in order to have 50k worth of sacrificing again, we're going to go for the same exact upgrades, okay? Actually, this time, instead, we'll go for a Super Brittle and then an Icicle Impale, just to really make sure because with having this Sun Temple right here, it makes all upgrades, even Tier 5 upgrades, a bit cheaper. So going for that Absolute Zero times the Icicle Impale might not be enough. It might be. I'm not too sure off the top of my head, okay? But we got all the towers that we currently need. We'll continue on Equin, by the way, because I guess this game will be going past round 40. But look at that right there, boys. Looks absolutely beautiful. True Sun God, $400,000. I'm honestly still in disbelief that they made it $100,000 cheaper. Like, 
That is mind blowing to me. And oh, by the way, looks like our Sun Temple ended up staying with uh, that one ice freeze in the water. Okay, so I guess you'll learn something new every day. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, that it was even on the water in the first place. But if you take a look at our opponent's side, they got the Spike Factory Mortar Sniper combo. Yeah, Oban as their hero too. It's not gonna defend all the way up until round 50. I'll tell y'all that right now. They still don't even have a single tier five minus the Cripple Mlav right there. Or actually, no, 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 wait, scratch that. They have two tier five Mortar Monkeys there too. But Mortars definitely fall off late game, in my opinion, Snipers do as well. Spike Factory's pretty solid, but yeah, we're not going to wait all the way into round 50 because I don't want this guy to accidentally die to AI. And again, remember, in this game mode, whatever I send to my opponent also gets sent back over on my side. Therefore, we can essentially rush ourselves with a humongous fortified BAD rush. And oh, we actually have enough money right now to finally go for the good old true sun god. So let's do it right here, right now. We're going to make sure that we cross path it with the epic range too because we want to have that goaded freaking range. And then on top of that, I'm going to go for a village right next to it because not only do we need cam detection, I also would like this true sun god to have a constant jungle drums buff going on, okay? And now I'm going to go for our support Isis. So we're going to go for the super brittle. Oh my, bro. That super brittle range is actually insane. DDT is right there on round 37. We're fine against. But then we're going to go for the icicle impale more towards the back of the map, okay? Because in case DDTs get all the way back here, you know? And in regards to spamming super monkeys, we're going to be spamming the sun avatars as those were also buffed technically with this update. They're $1,000 cheaper. And honestly, too, paired up with the ice specifically, the super monkey, it is better, in my opinion, to spam sun avatars, okay? And we're going to cross path these with the bottom path, so the knockback and ultra vision. Ultra Vision, we already have cam detection for a lot of them, or we will have cam detection for a lot of them. But the Ultra Vision upgrade still increases the range by a bit. Uh, so I would like to still go for that upgrade, okay? And you know what? I kind of forgot about this, but we'll go for a support temple. So we want to make sure that we have max sacrificing um, from the support category when we do go for this. So we'll probably have to go for maybe like a double call to arms. Is he rushing us right now? What? Okay, I'm going to go for... Yeah, that should definitely be enough. Let's go for the support temple right here, right now. Why is he trying to rush a true sun god with fortified hyperdensity OMGs? I'm sorry, man. That's not going to work. Okay, this spot is terrible, but it's only here for support, okay? I didn't want to sacrifice accidentally any of the uh, towers that I've already placed down either. So that's why we kind of had to do this all the way down here because I just kind of forgot. All right, stop eco in here. It's 40,505 eco. We have well over $1 million as well. And we still need to upgrade a few of these sun avatars here, okay? And it's starting to get to the really, really late game rounds. And I'm kind of nervous that this guy is going to die to AI. So after upgrading all of these, I might just say screw it and start all outing us and him. Like, look, we can't even put down any super monkeys really down here because of all these like trees and little obstacles and stuff. So although this map is pretty long, there's really not as many spots as you would think there are. But nonetheless, let's get to rushing him and let's get to rushing ourselves. I'm going to immediately use a Holman defense. Should I wait to tower boost or should I tower boost now? I'll wait a little bit. I'm going to use ice ability. I'm going to make the AI a little bit weaker as well. Use Benjamin ability. And oh my God, we already popped off a few. Oh my God, I'm not even tower boosting, guys. I'm literally not even tower boosting. <laughs> No freaking way. By the way, he stands absolutely no chance against this. No freaking chance at all. So I learned this from a comment that I saw in the last video. We can micro homeland because if we sell it, the homeland effect is still technically up on the map. So it's not like we can't sell it and the homeland effect will go away. No, it stays. Okay, so let's use that. And now let's tower boost because it's starting to look a little bit worse for us. Oh no, he's going to die here soon. He's going to die here very, very soon. But we still did exceptionally well. Let's use this. How many pops? 4.4 million pops. He might have lagged out here. He might have just lagged out here. Two very boring minutes later. Oh, no, we're back. We're actually back. Okay, I thought for sure we lagged out. But believe it or not, it looks like we're struggling low-key a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of fortified ZOMGs and stuff underneath everything. Uh, but still, nonetheless, we are doing a million times better than him. Six million pops for the true sun god. The BADs are really pushing over on his side. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die here any second. No, wait, we're doing fantastic. 
We're doing fantastic. We just cleaned up everything underneath right there. Okay, I'm going to stop sending right here just to have a bit more money to micro this homeland once again. Okay, I'm going to go for homeland down here because there's a lot more room down here. So let's go for that. Let's use it. Okay, we're good. Oh, no. He's going to die here. He's going to end up dying here, ladies and gentlemen. But man, oh, man. How many pops? 8 million pops. Literally just barely past 8 million pops right there. That is crazy. And the true sun god buff, I'm so, so happy with. Let me know what you guys think about the 100k price buff to the true sun god down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we showcase the flying fortress. And it's actually good now. And no, I'm not lying when I say this. You do not want to miss out on this video. It's actually crazy good now. Go make sure to check it out.